we're just beside ourselves. Every day has been, oh my God, what's going to happen next? Marvin Putty is living a nightmare. His 13-year-old son, Eli, developed a blood clot, which Marvin says was initially misdiagnosed. Uh, our son uh, developed a blood clot. Uh, he was misdiagnosed uh, on several visits to uh, an emergency room. Uh, we kept insisting that he does have a blood clot because there is a familial history of this in our family. Uh, eventually, they decided to do an ultrasound test, and then they discovered, lo and behold, yes, he does have a blood clot. This is the drug Delta Paran that was finally given to Eli for his blood clot. Now the problem is it's not really supposed to be used for children. And as soon as it was given to him, he became very sick. Now Marvin said that the doctors were overdosing him. And as soon as he said that word, things went from bad to worse. So we started getting vocal about, uh, about his treatment and, and what we felt uh, was lacking in it. And, uh, and of course, as soon as we started doing that, uh, we started getting resistance from, uh, from the Vancouver Island Health Authority and then the Ministry of Health. Eventually, all communication broke down to the extent where Eli had to issue a freedom of information request from the hospital for information on his condition. And Eli had to do it himself. He actually issued a FOIP request and then got some documents about his health condition and this has been ongoing. Now the Ministry of Health has issued a child protection order against Marvin and his wife, accusing them of using inappropriate language when describing the condition to their son. And now they're on the run. My wife and child have, uh, have fled the province because my son does not want to be separated from his family, especially his mom. Vancouver Island Health Authority have said they don't comment on individual cases. However, they have said that in this instance, they are working with Marvin's family to make sure that Eli receives the best treatment possible. However, this isn't the first time that families on the island who have kids with special medical needs like Eli have had run-ins with the authorities. Brad Fisher's daughter has spinal muscular atrophy. It took weeks for Brad to convince doctors on the island to diagnose her with the rare condition. And even then, he was told there wasn't anything more they could do. Then we were just told there is nothing you can do. Take your baby home and love her. And that's a common thing even today, unless people push back. Because, you know, look, there's some parents that don't want to live this kind of life caring for somebody. And, and you can just let your children go. That, that, that happens in our society even now. And um, we, um, we decided we wanted to care for her. So that's where, the real, that's where the real confrontation started. For Marvin and his family, he just wants answers and to know that his son will be okay. We've been stressed out since this whole thing began. Help us resolve this. Answer our questions fully. You have the capability of doing that. Let's do that so we can then finish this and walk away convinced that our son is going to be okay. Tom Walsh, City News, Vancouver.